It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. It seems as though that mega corporations are pretending to care about the Black Lives Matter movement, so uh, let's react. There is no anime community without black fans, cosplayers, artists, and storytellers. We will not remain silent in the face of systemic racism and stand with the black members of our community. Let's channel our passion and inspire change, Black Lives Matter. If we're talking about the context of anime, what type of black storytellers are you talking about? Because yes, there are actually some black voice actors for English dubs. However, most people, in fact almost all people who make manga, who make anime, are not black. They're practically Japanese. So I have no idea what you're talking about because basically anime comes from Japan and therefore the artists and illustrators and anybody else besides those people are in fact Japanese. They're not freaking black. We believe in our anime community and the rights of those in our community and we believe that Black Lives Matter. I'm so lost, like super, super lost here. But what does anime have to do with anything with politics? Like when most people go to Funimation or go to Crunchyroll, they don't actually think about politics. What they think about is watching hentai and watching their anime. They don't think about the real world politics because people are trying to escape from the freaking politics. So, why are you talking about this sort of stuff in an anime platform? Because if I was a company running this whole entire show for anime, I would want to be as politically neutral as possible. Just release the anime, subtitle the anime, dub the anime, and that's it. I would be like politically neutral for this whole entire topic. But I don't understand why they're trying to eject American politics into anime. And that to me makes no sense whatsoever. To be silent is to be complicit. Black Lives Matter, we have a platform and we have a duty for our black members, employees, creators, and talent to speak up. I really just hate that line of reasoning right here. Well, you see, you're selling about something, therefore, you must support something. I'm sorry, but sometimes if a person is silent or neutral about a topic, that does not mean they therefore support the topic because for some cases they have not done the research or the time or the effort to know about a particular topic and therefore that's the main reason why they don't want to talk about it. There's like tons and tons and tons of topics on my channel that I would not cover because I know for a fact that I'm absolutely terrible on some topics. For example, I will never, ever, ever talk about gun control. I will never, ever, ever talk about economics. Those are the big topics that I will never cover under any circumstance. So. Just because I'm silent about something does not mean I therefore support something. This one comes from the Star Wars page. Oh my god, it must be really good right now. We stand against racism. We stand for inclusion. We stand for our fellow black employees, storytellers, creators, and the entire black community. We must unite and speak out. That is like the funniest joke I ever heard in my entire lifetime. You guys, of all people, care about black people? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. And of course, of course, Twitter also supports Black Lives Matter. Honestly, 
I'm not surprised about these corporations pretending to care about social issues and changes because ultimately they don't actually really care about these issues because most of the time whenever they try to release a movie to international places they almost always censor stuff and matter of fact for the case of anime with Crunchyroll and also Funimation, they try to put stuff that's political that's not even there in the original anime. So, it seemed to me at least that they're trying to capitalize on Black Lives Matter in order to make a profit. That's all it is. They don't actually care about, you know, civil rights or like police brutality. They only care about the money and how to sell their product. That's all the strategy it is right now because Walt Disney Studios always censor their movies for Star Wars, always censor stuff for stuff for international markets. And so I know for a fact that like a lot of these companies don't necessarily care about this kind of stuff. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.